in this place. It's very chill, yeah. just like you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And I know that you, you know, you've got festivals. You, you have yeah. many different events that you have created, and you invite. Can you tell me a bit about the kind of look? Events? I can give you an example from the last weekend because we started it like three years ago. We said everybody comes here at Colonel and we ask them, where can I climb? Where can I do motocross? Where I can do speed fishing? Where I can do too many outdoor sports? And I know like we have a gap which is the thing that in Lebanon really we have everything but you can't find everything online like you have to have the right people to show you or to tell you what to do or where, where to go yeah so we started an idea which is so why not to bring all the associations and all, all groups of outdoor stores to come here to be at the same day to exhibit to explain for the people where to go, what to do as an outdoor activity at the same place uh, and at the same time they can sell second hand gears for people they are like they have a passion to do something or to try but they can't buy them. So with this festival like it's called Outdoor Sports Festival, we created a platform which is which we've been doing this since three years. To let people come, first enjoy the music, the atmosphere, the sports uh, uh, lifestyle. They can know where to go. They will know that we have all these sports in Lebanon, which is very nice. This is one out of many other festivals we do. Fun education. Uh, yeah, like jazz festival today. It's, uh, it's about music. It's international. So we make the place international, we get expats, Lebanese, now they know that jazz festival is now, they, they enjoy the music, the beauty of the sound and all this. And the environment. Yeah, and the sun of course. So, do businesses like this represent progress and success? For Lebanon? Is it part of the future of Lebanon? Of course. Uh, I say, you know, like, I've told you before, like, two years ago I won the Brilliant Lebanese Award, not because of. Because, look, we need and we want in this country, and I know there are many entrepreneurs, we want to help each other to make a difference. If everyone can make a difference at this scale, even if it's very, very tiny, we can make a difference at the end of the day because we have to put all our effort for the battle of everyone. It's like, you know, you throw the garbage from your car, from the window. You, think, you, you say like, you can't say like, oh, everybody is throwing garbage. But if you start with yourself and you don't throw, imagine everyone will think like this, but this mentality, we want to we wanna build it up. To build it up, we have to start by ourselves, not by giving speeches. We have to start by ourselves. To start by ourselves, we have to be the examples, not giving examples. I'm thinking of a Michael Jackson song. Oh yeah. <laughs> man in the mirror. Yes. We start with a man in the mirror. Yeah. Yeah, so true. And that, yeah. that applies to people all over the world. It's just common message and a common value yeah. people everywhere has to have value to is the most important yeah if you have it you get everything else yeah. if you don't you get nothing don't, yeah yeah don't even search for anything else doesn't mean anything does no. it without value no it's yeah. boring yeah so tell me a little bit about the water sports you've got windsurfing you've got paddle boarding you've got kayak kayaking so, and you wanted to do this because you're a passionate windsurfer from the age of 12 yeah, or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I told you that. It's my passion. And I know that the windsurfing in Lebanon is running down in the last 10 years. So when I got the opportunity to do this project with the help of the municipality of Batoon, I wanted to build back and to make Batoon a destination for, for the windsurfing. Batoon, it's very... It has an advantage that we have, we really have wind. And this is beautiful. 